Because everything I've been through, God has given me a dividend on it. He's given me a reward because of it. Listen, it was good for me, David said, that I went through the affliction because I learned something that I never would have learned without that affliction. Amen, somebody. Proverbs 21 and 5 says it this way, the plans of the diligent lead to profit. See, God says if you keep working at it, it's going to lead to profit. But Pastor, I didn't get the contract overnight. Stop it. It takes time. You have to go and tweak it. You have to go and revise it. You have to learn how and what your customer needed. And now you learn better. Well, it was a big contract and I miss it. God is setting you up for the next contract. Sometimes a no is good. I know some of us don't like it because we have been promised a better roses, but sometimes we have to experience things in order to be better at it later. Successful people realize that now does matter, that today is important, that dreaming is nothing if we awake and nothing is acted upon. You can dream all day, but if you don't do nothing about it, it's just a great dream. Listen, I want you to say, it's easy to say rather, I want to get out of debt, but you got to start today. Pastor, I want to be debt free. Start today. Start with the smallest bill first. Learn to conquer the discipline of not shopping when you want to shop. Let, let them conquer that and you'll start small ways of being debt free. It don't happen overnight. The good life livers prepare themselves. If you want the good life, if you want success, if you want a debt free life, if you want the corner office, if you want the house, if you want to mature as God's child, then prepare now and lean in on God like never before. Listen to me, all the hard work without God is nothing but sweat.